I've just caught the swarm in my shed. Hello, I'm Griffiths. Welcome to Winnie Griffith. Here we talk everything beekeeping, farming, countryside living, and we do reviews as well. Now I'm in the sheep shed. That's just been converted into uh, well, it's a beekeeping workshop. Really, paint some hives, fix old broken kit, build new ones. Like you can see behind me there. And funny enough, I was on the bees all afternoon yesterday, and uh, so I wasn't here. So my parents. Came up this morning, gave me a hand, dad on the nail gun, man painting. And they said, there's more and more bees flying in the shed. And I thought, oh, well, you know, they can just smell the old boxes. They're just coming in here to have a look. And uh, I could see, looked over, and this Payne's roof was just on one super and one old brood box like that. And I could see the bees there, and I thought, oh, the, the bees have found a little crack. They just started to rob this hooper. So I lifted the roof up, just like that. And I had a face full of angry Welsh black bees. And I got stung about three times in the face. So I told mum and dad, quick, get out, quick. And uh, they legged it. Mum went out with a paintbrush, everything in, in her hand as well, in a panic. But uh, they saved getting stung. And... I can't believe it, we were in here working with the janitor going, nail gun going, painting, talking, leaning against all these boxes, doing your sound. The second the temperature came up, these bees started to get a little bit busy and these are Welsh blacks. Well, I hope, hoping they're not mine, but you never know. But I did go through my bees last week and nothing there was really coming close to swarming. You can see by the colour, these are Welsh black bees, and they're quite tame now, so i got to sort this out tonight because nobody's going to want to work in this shed with a hive of bees in here. So I'll just talk you through what I'm going to do now to relocate this hive. They're in the super, so I'm going to leave them in there, and they're in the brood box. So I'm going to put the floor underneath this brood box here. So they can't get access to the rest of the stack. I'm going to put a clown board there, roof, and have the entrance pointing towards that gap to get them flying in and out of the entrance today. Tonight, when it gets a bit darker and cooler, when these stop flying, I'm going to close the entrance up, and then I've got to move them over three miles away. So that's the rule when you're moving swarms or moving bees in general, three foot or three miles. That's just the rule, if you move them, say 10 feet, they'll fly back to the original spot. If you move them over three miles away, then they reset the sat nav and that's their new home. So, I'm gonna get a floor, clown board, I'll use that panes roof that's there. Little bit of a pain today, but nonetheless, that is a blessing. A swarm, didn't wanna hit my bait hives. They'd rather come into the shed, into a stack of old kit. Anyway, right, let's get the kit together. And they say if you catch a swarm in May, it's worth its weight in hay, or something like that. Well, I've never caught a swarm in April, so I'm hoping these will be worth their weight in gold. No, it's not a, a massive swarm, so I'm guessing for these to swarm this early, 
these are uh, so your wild west black bees they're probably living in a cavity of a tree or a chimney somewhere quite small where they've started to build up and they've just got zero room with the honey flow we've had on at the minute and they've just decided to up and go So I put these back, I'm going to move them out of here now. And when you're moving swarms, ideally, you want to move them all to an isolation apiary. Now I've got an isolation apiary and that's where I take swarms that I go and catch elsewhere. But this area where we are now, where I live, there's no AFB or EFB here at all. So I'd be much more confident taking this somewhere which is not my isolation apiary just because there's been no fog road in this area for years. So just got to use your head a little bit. The safest thing is to move them to an isolation apiary but sometimes that's just not possible. And where you catch the swarm matters as well. So if you're catching swarms from areas you know there's foul brood then I definitely take that away to an isolation apiary then and not to one of your sites. Well that's it, I've housed this swarm, the easiest swarm I've ever caught in my life. Wasn't even prepared for it. And there we go, we're going to give this now 10 minutes. They're going to be flying around the roof now because that's how they were getting into this stack of boxes. I'll take it on the front and we'll see if they find the new entrance straight away. I've just loaded the swarm in the back of the truck. I've got the, a feeder there to go on top of it because always feed a swarm, especially when you just catch them so they can build a nest up quite quick. I'm just show you I've closed this up. Just used a coffee bag cut in a long strip and stuffed that in there. If you want to buy used coffee bags, that's food safe. That's only had coffee beans in them for human consumption. Go to my website because we sell them really, really cheap and we post them right across the UK. So, little trip now, 15 minutes, and I'll drop this swarm off. The feeder is on. I've moved the swarm to here. Well, that's it for this video. Just move that swarm out the shed and then we can crack on with work and not worry about having West Black Bees in the shed with us. So this site starting to fill up nice this one now. I'm gonna build another hive stand there to take three or four more hives. And this April will be up to capacity, ready for the season ahead. Well, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and don't forget, if you like this video and you want to watch more of the same kind of content, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I try my best to upload a new video every week. Thanks for watching.